Okay. Um, this is the Delta Little Omega Christian Fraternity Incorporated General Body Conference Call. The time now is 9, 10 p.m. Today's date is the 5th of December, 2019, and we have brothers that's on the conference call. Um, so we're going to go ahead and st- start in with the word of prayer. Kind Father, which art in heaven, God, we come before you asking God that you guide us, God lead us. Build us as you will have us to be, Father God. Touch every individual, Brother God, in the way that you see fit for us to be touched. Father God, mold us in the way that you should see fit for us to be molded. And God, build us and use us, God, in the way that you should see for, fit for us to be used and molded. God, right now we ask that you take this meeting, God, and let it be informative. God, let it be encouraging. God, let it be uplifting. And God, let it be able to build your kingdom. God, we ask that not only do that, but God, touch every individual brother, God, that's on this phone, God, and that is, that's abroad. God, we ask that you go out, God, and touch them, God, and touch them in the way that they need to be touched. God, right now, God, I'm asking God that you continue to use me to be the leader and the guide, the, the leader, God, that you have called me to be. God, I'm asking God that you allow my reign, God, to be on harm, I'm touched and unbothered, God, but let it be inspiring to every other brother that comes up under me. God, we ask you, God, that you do these things. And God, we ask that what that what we, that you have seen fit for us to put on that calendar, God, that you would allow us, God, to be able, God, to set out, do it, God, accomplish it, and let it be blessed by you, God, and let it be inspiring and be a blessing to others. And God, if there's anything that's God contrary to you, God, we ask that you cancel it out. So God, do these things, and we ask you in your dollar son, Jesus' name, amen. Okay, brothers, um, we have a couple of things that's on our schedule and that's on our calendar, uh, and the reason for this conference call, the executive board had a conference uh, conference call the other day, and so we want to make sure that we keep the general body um, informed about some of the things that's going on. All right, um, one of the things that we have coming up is tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, we're hosting uh, what is called Paint with a Paint with the Saints, and Paint with the Saints is basically an uh, evening of relaxation, uh, fun, and fellowship. And there will be food there. Um, this event will be he- held at New Macedonia um, Baptist Church, which is located at twenty two hundred one Southwest Forty Eighth Avenue in the city of West Park. And again, Paint with the Saints is basically a new uh, adventure that we're going to try to host uh, quarterly. And again, um, the idea kind of came about because we look at how many people come uh, come to church or they go to church. But very, uh, very few times do you see church members get a chance to come together as a collective whole. And not just one church, churches abroad, where they can come together and fellowship with each other and just have fun. So paint with the saints is going to give them a time of relaxation. It's going to be very therapeutic. Uh, Our own brother, uh, Billy, uh, brother BJ Williams, on behalf of his company, uh, Musical Paintbrush Production, uh, he will be hosting uh, Paint with the Saints. So he will be the one that will be up there instructing everyone how to paint and the whole nine yards. Uh, This is also an avenue and a venue for us to be able as brothers to um, to join together collectively, have fun, um, and also entwine with other church members as well. So this event is scheduled to, scheduled to take place tomorrow between the hours of 7 o'clock and until. So we're looking at it to be from 7. We'll probably start painting at or around 7.30, 8 o'clock. And we're really looking to be done by 10 o'clock, 10.30 at the latest. Um, this is this event is going to be a collaboration with uh, New Macedonia Baptist Church Youth Department, uh, where I am the youth director there, uh, well, youth pastor there. Um, and so we're going to uh, partner up with them. Uh, so therefore, the food will be sponsored by them, and then the the supplies was was sponsored by uh, DNQ. So uh, we already have the supplies. BJ is going to, uh, Brother Williams is going to start uh, doing the, the the sketching on the canvas boards tomorrow. And again, he's going to be instructing this event tomorrow night. Uh, the funds that is raised from this event will go towards our 2020 um, honorees. Whoever we're going to honor for honorary membership in DQ for 2020, the funds that are raised will go towards uh, paying for the venue for the banquet and paying for whatever supplies that we need for the banquet for this upcoming year. Um, now, this event for tomorrow, again, uh, if you if brothers come, we want you to wear T-shirts, 
Um, if anybody needs transportation, we have vans that will be able to be supplied out to pick y'all up, drop you back off. Um, and you know, if you don't have the if brothers don't have the finances, then we have we already have sponsorships that's out there. Whereas people say they will want to come, but they don't. You know, they, they want they want to sponsor a ticket, but they would be able to come. So we have about four or five of those, if I'm not mistaken, that is available. So if you know a brother or if yourself, you know, just hit me in the inbox, my personal inbox, and say, hey, I need a ticket, and we don't mind giving you the ticket. Okay. Mm. Um, do we have any questions on on the paint with the Saints for tomorrow? Okay. No. Okay. That's it. Okay. All right. So, um, next in order is on Saturday morning. Uh, our very own Irvin Plummer, as I was just mentioning, Irvin Plummer, brother Plummer, is hosting something called Shop with the Boss. Shop with the Boss is a actual event he came up with, I want to say, a year or two ago. Um, I was hoping he would be on a conference call to kind of go into more, um, kind of explain it a little bit more. However, um, Urban Plummer is hosting this event. It's going to take place at 9 o'clock a.m. at the Target off of Hollywood Beach Boulevard. The idea for Shop with the Boss is for anyone who wants to sponsor a child that's in need, they're going to give them $100 to go shopping. And the whole objective is for us to be uh, role models for them. So we'll take them, go around shopping with them, and then we'll take them up to the register. And then we're going to cash out with them, take a picture with them, and it's going to be kind of promoted all over. Um, it is a, a pretty much a nice initiative that will let the uh, the less fortunate know that there are people out there that care about them, and there are people that's out there that's looking uh, looking to help or lend a helping hand. So, shop with the boss will be taking place on Monday, excuse me, on Saturday morning at nine o'clock at the Holland excuse me, the Hollywood. Uh, Target. If any brothers still want to um, participate with Shop with the Boss, um, Urban Plumber, I believe he's still looking for sponsors. So if it's not yourself, if it's any other brother that you know, let him know and uh, let me know, and I can let him know. Hey, we have another sponsor. Now, um, on Saturday at eleven o'clock, I want to say eleven or 10, 10 or eleven o'clock. Uh, I I will post this in the group chat, um, brother. Um, Corey, Dr. Corey Montgomery, he's hosting an educational uh, luncheon. And basically, he's going to have a guest speaker. It's going to be some music, some nice uh, brunch type of food. This event is going to take place at uh, West Park Preparatory and High School, or better known as the Cabo Ranches Educational and Resource Center. This event, uh, again, will take place on the seventh uh, at or it's going to the doors open up at ten. So if you want to come, brothers, we have sponsored ten tickets. Uh, that was two hundred dollars out of our account. Uh, we sponsored ten tickets to this event, so we can go and support our brothers. Now I'm asking if you brothers, if you could please come, please come, because he's looking for full support. Um, the attire is, you know, comfortable, semi-formal. I guess you could say, uh, you know, slacks and a shirt. Uh, if you if you want to come, you know, please, please, please make sure you wear your pins so that we can be represented. I myself is going to, I'm going to have to leave from shop with the boss and go directly over to that particular event. Um, if you need a ride, if you need transportation, let me know. As always, Myself, President Mike uh, Broward, President excuse me, Broward County Chapter President Michael Hankins. Uh, one between us, we will be able to make sure you get there and you get back home safe, uh, without a problem. Um, so again, the tickets for this event has already been purchased. So if you are you and your loved one will want to come, we have ten tickets. On behalf of West Park, I also supported this initiative, and I sponsored 10 tickets on behalf of West Park. So I have 10 tickets for West Park as well that I have to try my best to get rid of or get off of because uh, I was looking to sponsor him and support him. And so I don't want to get all these free tickets and then nobody's there, so then the, the venue looks empty. So again, if you could, stop by. Let's support. Let's give a helping hand. And... uh you know, let's support his his initiative. Okay, so that's going to be on Saturday. 
Okay, um, so we have Friday night, which is Paint with the Face, Saturday morning, Shop with the Boss. Next thing that we have, next line item that we have, brothers, would be um, on Sunday. I'm asking all, this is a personal uh, joint effort. Uh, I'm asking all brothers to please come out and support. Uh, my birthday was just past Monday. I was about to say Saturday. <laughs> this past Monday, December 2nd. And I am having and hosting on the 8th, which is Sunday. Um, on the flyer, it says two thirty, two o'clock, two thirty. I think it is, but we're looking to be at the park about three o'clock. Um, I, I wanted to put the time where everyone will be off, uh, out of church, preferably. Um, but on on Sunday, I'm going to say between two thirty, three o'clock. I'm asking everyone to please join me at Stranahan Park. Stranahan Park is off of Broward Boulevard, east of I ninety five kind of across the street from the McDonald's. It is directly uh, connected with the Fort Lauderdale Downtown Branch Library. Okay. It is the actual uh, fencing gated uh, pavilion. Okay. I will be hosting uh, on behalf of every organization I'm affiliated with, including my personal ministry. I am hosting something called Dining with the Homeless. Dining with the Homeless is actually going to be where I will have a series of tables and chairs out um, out on the lawn, have some soft music playing. Um, I will be sponsoring the food, and I'm asking that my brothers would help me uh, pass out food to the homeless people. The difference this time would be they would not come out, pick up a tray, and keep walking. The homeless people would come. They would be seated at the tables. I'm asking that my brothers and family and friends that we would actually be waiters and waitresses to the actual uh, homeless community. So when they walk in the gate, they would be seated. We would, we would uh, take their order, bring them their food. And then after they'd be seated, then we would sit down and we would eat with them. The reason behind this is I want the homeless community to know that we are equal. You know, we are we are all precious in God's sight. There's no big eyes. There's no little use. And I want them to know that we're not too above them or we're not too great, that we will not, that we cannot sit and dine with them. So Dining with the Homeless, again, will be sponsored by myself um, as on behalf of every organization and ministry that I'm a, I'm a part of. Uh, I'm hosting this event, and I'm just simply asking all of my brothers, bring your family, bring your friends. It's going to be enough food. I'm looking to feed about 200 to 250 people and um, all all expense paid free. So I'm asking you to bring your, your friends. Um, I have a couple of ministries that have asked um, in schools that have asked if they can bring uh, their church members. My answer is, is absolutely yes. Please, 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 please bring them. If we run out of food, I will send for more. So I'm asking you to please come out and help sponsor, I mean, help support this event. I'm only asking that our brothers wear your shirts, your DQ shirts. Uh, if you do not have your shirt as yet, um, we have shirts available for you. I will make sure we have the shirts with us so you'll be able to put on your Delta and Omega shirts. Um, that event is, again, going to take place this Sunday. So, again, that's uh, this Sunday. So, we have something for Friday. Saturday, two events on Saturday, and then Sunday, okay? Now, tentatively, that was placed on our schedule for this weekend was also um, the um, the not Presidential Council, I'm so sorry, I just drew a blank. The uh, Ministerial Alliance of Delta and Omega. The Ministerial Alliance is basically all of the ministers that are a part of the organization or pastors, clergy members, um, where we were going to go out and pray with the residents of the uh, nursing home or shelter, or we go out and we pray for people. Uh, last time we went out, we, uh, which is pretty much old business, we went out and we prayed with the Will Manners community, and it was a beautiful movement. 
uh, unfortunately, one of the people that we prayed for uh, who accepted Christ already and also wanted to re- reconnect with him. Uh, she requested prayer. We prayed with her. Uh, Brother Stevens, Kennedy Stevens, had informed us a couple of days later she passed away. Um, so it touched our heart and it did our hearts some good to know that we were able to at least, you know, pray with her and connect with her before her transition. So we are inspired to do it again this month. On our calendar, we had it set for the 7th. However, due to our overwhelming list of events that we have going on, um, we're going to try to connect with the Presidential Council and find out if we still want to push for Saturday afternoon or we want to postpone it and go next weekend. Uh, Tentatively, it looks like the following weekend would be better for us to go, but we're going to find out and we'll let you know. Uh, If any brothers want to go, it's not only uh, confined to the Presidential Council, excuse me, it's not only confined to the Ministerial Alliance, it is open for all brothers. If you want to come, we ask that you wear your t-shirt so you come out and then you pray. Uh, If you want to be a part of the Ministerial Alliance, please let me know and we can add you to that particular platform. So that's uh, that's also old business and new business for that. Uh, We did Operation 100. Uh, excuse me, we did the transitional tie. Transitional tie was done last month in the month of November when we went out to Pumpin' Up Beginners, which is also, uh, this that particular shelter is a, a, a connection with a DQ honorary member, Charles Fields. Uh, we went out, we gave out, I believe it was about 100 neckties or bow ties uh, all together. Um, and we had a wonderful time. Uh, one of our very own brothers, brother Gary McDonald, who I believe is at work right now, uh, he was actually able to give a testimony and share and, and talk to some of the brothers there um, at the Pumping Up Beginners program. And then I myself gave us a quick speech to them. And the guys were very, very, very pleased with what we have done. They was very pleased with the acts that we have that we have that we displayed towards them. And they're looking for us to come back and connect with them. Now, while we were there, excuse me, at the Pompano Beginners um, uh, uh, church service, it was asked, how do they go by if they want to join the organization? So the presidential council have communicated amongst ourselves. And what we decided to do was we're going to try to connect with Brother Charles Fields before, or hopefully, I'm going to say hopefully before January 1st. And we're going to see about placing a chapter and Pompano and allowing his residents to be a part of Delta and Omega. They are already doing community service up there. So it would be some type of collaboration between the program and Delta and Omega for the for the gentleman there that would like to join DQ. Uh, if if this is the case, we're going to do them just like we did the honorary members. We're going to give them a nice luncheon or something of that sort. And uh, we will issue them their certificates uh, at that time. And if that is the case, we're going to ask whatever brothers that can come and let's fellowship and welcome them into the fold. We'll do it that way. Okay. Um, I really wish we could have done it before um, the roundup, which is on December 28th. But if if we can, we will. If we can't, then we'll do it when God see fit for us to do it. But again, that is with uh, Charles Fields at the Pumping Up Beginners. Uh, Charles is, he is in a group chat on, on Facebook. And, and again, he is the owner of the Pompano Beginners. So uh, I want to say thank you to all of brothers. If Again, if anyone have any neckties, uh, church shirts, slacks, pants, shoes, whatever you may have that you that you don't wear anymore and you don't mind donating, uh, give it to me. I will wash them up. We will bag them up and then we will take them. We are looking to do this particular transitional tie. I think it's three to four times a year. So the next time I believe if President if Broward President Mike is on the phone, um, if I'm mistaken, we're going to be doing that. I think again in January, uh, we're going to be doing it again with them. So any brothers that want to go up, let us know. We'll put you on the calendar. We, again, we we will provide transportation for any brothers that need it. Okay. Uh, Okay, okay. I I know it was coming up. I know just I just knew it wasn't in December, so we do it January, and February. Um. Okay. Gives everybody time, plenty of time to get some stuff together because everyone has something uh, that it can don't it doesn't have to be um, a lot of stuff. It can be you know one here, one there. 
you can leave five here, five there, whatever you have, whatever you want to give, because they actually really, really appreciated whatever it was. I mean, it was like Christmas Day in their eyes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so I, 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 I thank you, uh, Broward President Mike, for that, Vice President, uh, for that uh, information. Now, this is the main kicker. We have on the 21st of December, Delta Omega and Gamma Beta Chi, as Delta Omega Christian Fraternity, Gamma Beta Chi National Service Fraternity, and Musical Paintbrush Production. All three companies are coming, three organizations are coming together to host a Toys for Tots Christmas giveaway. Okay, this event is taking place at two different locations. North Broward event will take place. I will give y'all the at the church address. I do not remember the name of the church. It's off of Sistrunk. Um, and this is going to take place on the 21st. And then um, on the 21st day afternoon, we're saying possibly around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it will take place tentatively, that time schedule, it would take place at New Macedonia. We were going to try to have it at the school, but because we host a lot of stuff between the schools and the church, uh, we decided to host it with New Macedonia where we'll be able to have the bounce house, the music, the cotton candy machine, to kind of make it a fun, festive event. And when the kids leave, they will leave out with the toy. The toys we're receiving in, in totality, almost 600 toys that will be donated to us. All we are asked to do, brothers, is to be present and give away the toys. If you know anyone, we had to submit a list of names. We had a slew of names that that came in. We know that everybody that's on the list is not going to be there. So if you know any child or children that needs toys for Christmas or a toy for Christmas, we ask that you please bring them to the event. We what we are not going to allow. We, we're saying that we do not want to ask half brothers start taking toys out to people because we're not sure if they're going to get them. So in order for one to be a recipient of a toy, we're asking that they be present at either event. Again, there will be a flyer. I'm waiting to get with Brother Delvis Rogers. He is the president, the Broward chapter president of Gamma Beta Chi National Service Fraternity, but he is also a DQ member as well. We're waiting on him to let us know the church address for Fort Lauderdale. Once Delvis communicates that to me, I will make a flyer and I will drop it on the group chat. All you have to do is save the photo and share it on your page, okay? It's the toys I give it on a first call, first serve basis, okay? So, again, that's on the 21st. Again, it's going to be free food, fun, fellowship, and free toys for the youth. Toy range, toys will range from uh, from infant to 18 years old. Okay, so first call, first serve basis. All we're doing, brothers, is just managing the actual uh, event, wear your t-shirts, and that's all we're asking, okay? Um, now, when, when Delvis receives the call from... Um, from the military, because the toys are covered from the Toys for Tots program, which is governed by the government uh, uh, agency, the military, they're going to call us and they're going to let us know, hey, the toys are ready for pickup. Once they let us know that the toys are ready for pickup, then we will have to uh, find transportation to go pick up the toys. Gavin Bay and Kai and Musical Paintbrush Production use their 501c3 and to get the toys, so all they're asking DNQ to do is sponsor the transportation to go pick up the toys. Once we pick up the toys, then between the three entities, we're going to rent a storage room and we're going to place the toys inside of the storage room. We do not want to place the toys at anyone's house or home or, or business because if God forbid something was to happen with the toys, then it would be on us. Uh, on that individual and we don't want to look bad. So just to keep everything secure to make sure it keeps the hands away keep everything uh, comfortable and safe away from everybody else. We're going to just put the toys inside of a storage room. We're going to split the cost of the storage room. It shouldn't be that much. Uh, but again, on the 21st 
that's you know that's where the actual giveaway will be and if any brothers would like to ride with us to go get the toys because everybody we're going to need everybody has to help uh we're asking uh once we get the call we'll send out a mass text message or email or call or whatever and if you're available to go ride with us you know we'll make sure that you get picked up to go okay um so that's on the 21st next and the last day for this particular month on the 27th, the 27th is Delta and Omega's fourth annual, oh, excuse me, it's our uh, fourth four-year anniversary. So it is our Founder's Day on the 27th of December. We're asking if any brother wants to go to dinner, we're going to pick a venue somewhere economical, uh, probably somewhere like a L House or something of that sort, or, or TGI Fridays. We're going to go to dinner, okay? We're going to ask all brothers in Broward Chapter or Broward County, whether you're in North Broward or South Broward area, to come out and go to dinner with us. We're going to have fun. Let's laugh. Let's joke. Some of us drink, and let's just be merry. Now, on <laughs> on that Saturday, December twenty eighth, and this is especially, especially important. And I was praying that a lot of brothers would be on this conference call because on the 28th, we are hosting our first Brotherhood Roundup. Usually for Founders Day, uh, we get together the last Sunday of the of the year and we, get, we usually have it at my house and we do uh, a wine tasting. We have held uh, just an a annual party and that's where all the brothers, brothers from Tallahassee, uh, Alabama, uh, Fort Pierce, everybody kind of just Tallahassee, they 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 double they double back, they come here to the place where Delta and Omega was founded, which was in my living room. We uh we have a business meeting and then we eat, drink, be merry until like one, two o'clock in the morning. We just have nothing but fun. Well, because we have grown so much and we wasn't sure if everybody would come, we didn't want to have it here at the house. We decided to rent a hotel uh, a hotel conference room. So we're going to have a our business meeting will take place. Uh, the doors are open at 10 o'clock for registration. And we're going to go from 10 until 2. So we're going to have workshops and trainings and lunch we will have the whole enchilada uh, between 10 and 2. If there's, uh, on, at that event, brothers, you're going to receive your membership cards. Uh, you will receive uh, some more study guide materials. We're, we're working on some stuff to give you gift bags. We're working on some stuff that would be sponsored. And uh, we will also have a vendor set up there that will be selling some paraphernalia. I think they're going to have cups, uh, Hats, jackets, couple items there that you will be able to purchase. Okay, um, so it's more like a convention, a conference type of thing. <sighs> if you uh, need a ride for that event, again, transportation will be prevent will be provided. All we're asking is that you come. This is the time when we're going to be teaching the history the knowledge, the information, the passwords, the hand sign, the grips, teaching the 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 uh, backdrop, the fabric of Delta and Omega. You'll receive information and literature on the on the founders, and you'll receive information on the charter members as well as the visionary himself. So we're working immensely hard, like <laughs> it's or getting all this stuff together for the brothers. What I don't want to happen is, um, and then we have some brothers that will be doing presentations. We have a uh, brother, Pastor Zed, he's going to be speaking on the importance of building ministry. We have uh, Pastor Anthony Sanders that will be doing a spill on the importance of social uh, ministry, ministers and social action basically talking about how to become uh, active and being vigilant in your community. So we have a couple of different people that will be doing some presentations. And so uh, Dr. Delaney Cunningham, she's going to be speaking on uh, the, the importance of networking. So we have some people that will be doing presentations. And I, I'm asking that all brothers, please be there. 
because we want to make sure that you are very, you that you're being informed and you're being equipped. And also we'll be sharing our vision for the following year. So my vision for 2020 as your grand national president for Delta and Omega, this will all be expressed at that time. So brothers, I'm asking that you would please, please, please make it your business to come out on the 28th. Okay, this is going to take place at the Holiday Inn and Suites um, off of Davy Road Extension in Davy, Florida. The flyer for the Brotherhood Roundup is already in the group chat on Facebook, and I'm going to try my best to hit every brother email. And with um, the, Dr. Delana Cunningham, she is working on a registration form. She is our administrator for the fraternity. She is working on a registration form. I'm asking all brothers to complete that form, turn it back in so we can make sure we have your t-shirt size and whatever else that we need pertaining to you um, at that uh, as soon as possible so we'll know how much stuff to order, okay? Um, besides that, brothers, the last thing is uh, uh, membership dues. Again, Delta and Omega membership dues for a grand national membership is a hundred dollars a year. If you came in on the line of the first 48, you have, you do not have to pay membership dues to be an honorary member. It is an honor to have you as a member. However, in order to be a voting member, you must pay your dues. You can elect to pay your dues $10 a month, $50 each quarter, each half, $25 each quarter, or pay it in totality, again, $100 flat out. Now, if you do not pay your $100, that does not mean you cannot attend any functions. That does not mean you cannot do anything. You just need to pay your $100 in order to have a voice to vote, okay? Now, I'm closing with this. Broward County Chapter, President Mike is on the phone, and then I, uh, the standing president for North Broward, as it stands right now, we are uh, getting ready to do a brother recruitment. We're looking for new members for the fraternity. However, the brothers that we're looking for this time, they will not be honorary. So we're looking for honorary members that we will honor in the month of May of 2020. But we, le we need working brothers, brothers that will be able to come out, that will be able to attend meetings, brothers that will be able to put their hands on the plow. Because honorary members, we know that they, because they are honorary, a lot of times in organizations where you have honorary members, honorary members usually do not attend big meetings. And so what's happening is the brothers that are usually our workers, our brother, a lot of them have moved away. David has moved to uh, Virginia. Rodney has moved to Tallahassee. Larrington is in Fort Pierce. Stephen is going to Alabama. So our brothers are kind of spread out, the ones that usually there to put their hands on the plow and work. Now, we have, we have a lot of events that we're trying to keep going because we're trying to keep the, the ministry going forward. But then what is happening is we don't have a lot of brothers there that's present to help us keep it going. So we are asking brothers to submit names of people or reach out to some people who you feel that are workers already in the community and would not mind being a part of the organization. Once we have at least 10 names, then I believe that's the number we, we selected was 10. Uh, once we have 10 names, then we're going to try to move forward with the process. Remember, to become a member of Delta and Omega, it's just an application process and an orientation process. So the brothers, if we get the 10 members before December 20, uh, 28th, before the roundup, it is a great pop, great possibility that we will be able to get them applicated by that time and then let them do their orientation at the Brotherhood Roundup. So while we're doing one, we could be doing all. Brothers, we need for this to happen because we, again, we have, we are, DQ hosts at least four to five events, whether you know it or not, every month, okay? And so it, it gets tiresome when it's only three or four of us there. And I want to commend everybody. Steve Kennedy Stevens was at the, of course, at the um, the prayer the prayer with the Ministerial Alliance. Uh, Brother Corey Jefferson was there with us for the uh, the bully the no bullying uh, uh, act uh, ceremony seminar that we did. Uh, and and and, and, and uh, 
also, brother Billy Williams was there. William Antwell was there. Uh, it was it was nice. Uh, uh, I mean, our, our very own brother. He did a uh, he did a phenomenal job. Uh, it was a lovely event. But however, we need more. <laughs> we need some more brothers. And I know a lot of times that we host these events is during the daytime and people work, and then we have brothers that work at night. So I understand. So we need more hands. And so now, because of which, we, it's time for us to take an intake process. So again, you're looking for two different people. You're looking for pastors, city officials, ministers, bishops, doctors, whoever, to make them honorary. But then we need the average brothers who are just church, down to earth, regular people that are Christian men that we can make members of the fraternity, okay? So besides that, uh, it's... I have no other statements. Uh, I don't know if anybody have anything they want to say. And the floor is open for any questions, uh, any prayer requests, uh, or any uh, information that you want to share with the body. No, not me. I think you did a phenomenal job of um, about all the events and all of what we're going to be doing. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, brothers, this conference call has been recorded. Uh, it will be shared out with the brothers. Um, it's my, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. One last thing. Uh, two last things while I'm pulling this other information. I do apologize, I apologize, I apologize. Uh, before Founders Day, we're working on a lot of stuff to help spread spread awareness Again, brothers, we have four Facebook pages. I'm asking you that you go look up Delta New Omega if you're on Facebook. And we're asking that you go and like every page and also invite your friends to uh, like our pages on Facebook. You have Broward Chapter has a page. North Broward has a page. Uh, every chapter of DQ will have a page before Founders Day. All we're asking that you do is you join the page or like the page and then you share the page with your, your prospective Facebook friends. Facebook has actually fixed it now. When you go, you can hit uh, invite all and then invite everybody that's on your on your uh, page. Uh, that's on all your friends. So if you have 4,000 friends, it is sent out to all 4,000 friends and then they can like the page and they can be informed about what Delta Omega is doing. Another thing, uh, we are in the process now of revamping our national website. Uh, every year we look to uh, keep the national website informative and, and beef it up some. So we're dropping pictures on there. Hey, I'm going to send everybody the text out with the national website. Go on there, check it out, proofread it, you know, uh, like it. Let us know what you, what things that you think could be changed. Uh, what they want to try to do is put a brother a highlight page on there where we're going to be sp- uh, highlighting a brother every month uh, or a couple brothers every month. Uh, to kind of make them, you know, say, hey, this brother's doing this, go out and support. Another thing we're doing is we're trying to do a link in a page, uh, basically where on our national website, if a brother is uh, sponsoring a business, you will be able to go on our national website, look at that brother, read about his bio, see what he's doing, click on the link, and it will hyperlink, the, hyperlink you over to that brother's business page. So this, therefore, Delta New Omega will be actually sponsoring or highlighting everybody's business. So now it's like uh, we're trying to provide traffic to the brother so that brother's business can get some traffic as well. So when you're paying your membership dues, this is something that we're going to be giving back over to you. So it's like a two hand, a one hand washing the other. Another thing is Dr. Delaney Cunningham, which is our administrator, she is going to be over our uh, national publication. If you know your church, yourself, you hosted something, get that information to Dr. Delana Cunningham where she will be able to send out the newsletters via email to every brother and we, would, we therefore every brother, every brother would be uh, knowledgeable of what's going on with the brothers and what we're doing, okay? And then God forbid if there's anything going wrong, any prayer requests, you can send it out. We'll put it out there. We'll put it in all of our publications. So it would go on Facebook. It would go on Instagram. It would go on uh, the, the website, and it will be going out to you in the uh, newsletter. Uh, last day, I did have an oversight, and please forgive me. Our brother Joshua Adams, he was a part of the First 48. Joshua owns a company called Early Childhood Educators and Friends Incorporated. 
He will have a he is sponsoring something called a night of elegance. This is taking place Saturday, December the fourteenth, two thousand and nineteen. The tickets were twenty dollars for, and this event is for ages eighteen and up. It is just a night of uh, like a nice little night out type of thing. He's inviting us to come out, um, to come out to his, this event. He did give uh. President Mike, uh, Briar Chapter President Mike, a ticket and myself a ticket. Uh, hopefully Mike can make it. I know I'm going to definitely try to make it. If any other brothers want to go again, if you if you cannot afford it or if you you need help with the ticket, let us know. We will make sure you have a ticket to go to the event. We just simply want to go. Where's going to be located? Um, you know, the crazy part about it is he has this. He has the ticket. But the address is not on the ticket. So oh, I, I will make sure I get the flyer. Uh, it is. It, it is. I will make sure. Hold on. Hold on. Is it a letter in here? Hold on. Okay. It says, Dear Dr. Rembert, uh, Early Childhood Educator and Friends Incorporated are two weeks uh, are two weeks from the end of the year celebration. Please make sure you bring your tickets to enter the building. For more information, please feel free to give us a call or contact us within without hesitation at 954-928-6965. This event is taking place Saturday, December 14, 2019. Time is 7 o'clock p.m. It is the end of the year celebration. The colors is red, white, black, and gold. The dress code is a formal attire. It's two tickets that that are, that was enclosed in this envelope. the The location here we go. It's at the F C A A Banquet Hall. This is located at one three eight five zero Northwest Twenty Sixth Avenue, Opelika, Florida. Three three zero five six. Again, it's one three eight five zero, Northwest Twenty Sixth Avenue, Opelika, Florida three three zero five six. In his service, President CEO, Brother Joshua Adams. Okay, uh, brothers, if you want to go, I'm sure we we'll make it happen. Okay. Um, last thing is, we we by Founders Day, we will have a YouTube channel as well. So. All of our outlets, all of our photos, all of our music, everything we do, concerts, visuals, vigilance, whatever, everything will go on YouTube as well, okay? So, uh, and once that's set up, I'll make sure I set out a link. So, brothers, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, and it's going to be my duty to try to make sure we do a weekly news uh, blast where brothers will be informed about everything that's going on within the organization uh, nationally as well as locally. Again, um, I thank every brother for coming out, uh, excuse me, uh, tuning in to the conference call. The time now is 9.54 p.m. The conference call started at 9.10. We did discuss old business and new business. And I want to say thank you again. And it's going to conclude tonight's conference call. Again, the conference call notes will be uh, sent out via conference uh, on this conference call uh, the the conference call excuse me, minutes will be sent out to you via uh, video. Again, thank you very much. Thank y'all for calling. God bless y'all and good night.